Hello, I'm Kathy Allen, avid reader, avid book buyer. And I went to a couple of bookstores today, so I wanted to share with you what I got. Hi. Hi. Doing a video. The first bookstore I went to was A Thousand Stories in Herndon. It's a relatively new bookstore. It is so cute and sweet in there. And we went with the intent and purpose of getting two gift cards for my daughter's friends. They are twins and we're going to their birthday party later today. And we're also getting them a snack. So that way they can go pick out a book and they can have their snack and they can just be very happy. So when we walked in, we noticed that there was an author there. We changed up our plan a little bit and I decided that we would get each of the girls a signed picture book to them because I think that's really special. And then I got one each for my kids too. We ended up getting three of these books, Freaky Funky Fish, Odd Facts About Fascinating Fish. We met the author. They're really cute. Look at the illustrations. This is just something that kids will be able to pour over. My daughter is seven. She's gonna love this. Her friends are turning eight. I just really like how it looks like a little notebook too. So like I said, we got three of those because we got one each for the birthday girls and then one for my daughter. And then my other daughter was with us as well. So we figured we had to get her something too. We got her peculiar primates fun facts about these curious creatures similar kind of style of book and illustrations then of course we went inside the bookstore I had the intention to get maybe one more sort of holiday book it's fall right now and I came across this one which just looks so darling apple versus pumpkin the battle for the best fall tree is on I am a huge apple fan like apple cider apple cider donuts apple sauce I'm not so much a fan of pumpkin. It says in the back, when it comes to fall, there's so much to love. The weather turns cool, the clothes get cozy, and there's only one treat everyone wants to eat. So I think it's gonna be really fun. We got gift cards. I love that it's stapled onto the bookmark. This is a pro tip if you're getting anyone a gift card from a bookstore. Don't assume that they know where it is. Give them the gift of getting a bookmark or something that has the information about the store on it so they can just go with it. So we got two gift cards. My oldest came across this. We have the Berenstain Bears Halloween collection that is out right now and we are reading with our holiday books. I don't think we had these when I was a kid in our Berenstain Bears books. Definitely had the like little moral here, right? This book is 40 years old. The copyright is 1983, it's as old as me. And finally, this might be somewhat of a tangent, but I donate platelets and the person who helps me every time I go to donate platelets who works there is really sweet and always hooks me up with swag things. So if you don't donate blood or platelets or plasma or like the double red cells, you may not know that these centers have like really cool swag things to entice people to come in to donate. So often and it's a t-shirt or a bag or a crossbody bag or a cup that can keep liquid really warm. They had one for summer that was this big keeps it cold like bottle with the straw and I love it. I got it the last time that I donated platelets. My friend there, Zach, asked about it and he said, you got one of those, right? And I said, yeah, but my youngest, who's two, she always wants to drink out of it and steal it. And he's like, I can get her one. And I was like, well, then you'd have to get one for my oldest too because like they both need to have one. One can't have one and one not. And he's like, we have extras. So he got these two big tumblers. So now I'm on a mission to get cool stickers to put on their water bottles. So for my oldest, I might just get a couple because maybe when we go places, we can find another sticker that she likes. But for my youngest, I'm like kind of loaded up. I realized that I kind of like the same sort of stickers and I need to make sure that they are a little different so we know who's is who. But I got for each of them this sticker, main character energy, because these two children definitely have main character energy. And this is from Wildly Enough, which is really cool. It's women owned and designed and 10% of profits are donated to Together Rising, a grass which is a nonprofit, a transform collective heartbreak into effective action. I thought that was pretty cool. Okay, now we're moving on to another little shopping spree that I did today. A group of my friends were putting together a giveaway for a candidate that we know and love. And if people take action for this candidate or donate money, they can be entered into the raffle and we're doing banned books. So the candidate gave us an idea of some books that they wanted. And then I threw a couple other ones in that I really like. See if I can remember the ones that I ordered, but these are the ones that we picked up today. I got Year of One wonders fiction story I believe it's like an adult book the hunger games young adult too bright to see middle grade the handmaid's tale adult i know why the cage bird sings and this is a really nice addition it has the deckled edges they call it and then the giver this is middle grade and one of my daughters got her name from this book. I'll eventually have to do the story on here. I did it on TikTok. The other four that were ordered, if I can remember, The Diary of Anne Frank, the graphic novel. I'll Give You the Sun, which is, I don't know if it's banned, but it's a book that, at least where I live, the 
GOP is big mad about. I think Beloved, and I'm not remembering the other one, but when the other one comes in, I'll I'll share it with you. And then of course I got some books for myself and a sticker. So we'll start with the sticker. I got Teacher of All the Things. So cute. I have had my eye on this one for a long time. Heard a podcast by this person. This is actually for a book club there. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to make the book club because it is before the election. <laughs> but I really like reading books about wellness, self-care. And I remember hearing this author talk about how your whole life is self-care basically. Like you shouldn't be working really hard and like like doing all of this stuff to just have your one bubble bath at the end of the week, right? Self-care needs to be a part of kind of every decision you make because you need to keep going. And also the privilege in saying that, right? Um, you might not be able to choose your job. You might have to work really hard because you're working a low paying job, things like that. I really love books that are helping people figure this stuff out and also come from an intersectional lens and talk about these things in the world because we're not separate from the world. And it would be great if we could all just take as many bubble baths as we want and work the job of our dreams and live exactly where we wanted to and only pay a third of our income for rent and or mortgage, but that's not the case. And then I did not have this one on my radar at all, but I am writing postcards for Danica Rome. So this is Burn the Page, A True Story of Torching Doubts, Blazing Trails, and Igniting Change. I think Danica is super inspiring and I really love all the work that she's done already in politics in Virginia. Yeah, that is my haul. Oh, and I also got a bookmark of the 13, top 13 most challenged book challenged books of 2022. There are some ties, so that's why there's 13. There's a tie for fifth and a tie for 10th. Which of those books is really interesting to you? I'm going to do some book talks and probably share a little bit more about them as we go, but I just wanted to share with you what I got. I hope that you are having a great day and until next time, happy reading and book buying.